if you want to change your life, you can. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Connor. You're watching thrivingminimalist.com. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today we're talking about what minimalism did to me. It's been four and a half years of following a minimalist path. And I've made videos on this before where like, I, I kind of started downsizing, not really knowing what minimalism was. But that's the journey that I was on. I decided to really get rid of things that weren't serving me and focus on the things that are serving me. And, and I still continue to do that every single day. So I thought I'd talk about the top three areas of my life that minimalism has deeply affected. The first big area of change was my living situation. I used to own a two bedroom, one bath on a little over an acre. And I also co-owned a rental property with my previous partner. It was a two family, a uh, few bedrooms, few baths. And it wasn't that I disliked owning those things and it wasn't that I disliked keeping them in, in a nice state. I actually enjoyed doing that. But I found that the amount of energy that I was putting into it was taking away from things that I wanted to do more and things that I really needed to do more if I wanted to live the kind of life that I wanted to live, if I wanted to have the kind of connection with myself that I wanted to have, that stuff takes time to develop and time equals energy. And if we're putting energy and time into other areas, we just don't have enough for ourselves sometimes. So I went from owning this stuff to getting rid of it and moving into a small studio apartment and lived that way for about a year and a half um, lived in another kind of small apartment in Texas, which I actually showcased in a video, my minimalist apartment a while back. And finally ended up moving into this really small RV with another awesome human. And the reason that all of that transpired is exactly what I was talking about. It freed up time and energy for me to focus, to refocus that time and energy back on myself to like feed myself as if I were a tree taking care of my own roots so that I could establish bigger blossoms and a bigger harvest, a bigger bounty. And what I've been able to reap is love, compassion, awesome communication, skills that I now use to make a living and also to enjoy life and to love life. The second area that I changed was in my finances. I used to own, I'm not kidding you, like, 15 maybe maybe over 20 credit cards like I had so many credit cards and it wasn't like I just owned a bunch of credit cards I was using almost all of them and it wasn't you know like crazy spending like on wild stuff you know plasma TVs and like cars I didn't need um, it was all spending on my business and I was putting in so much time and energy into my business. And I was also putting in a huge amount of money. One year I showed on paper that I made over $120,000. But you know what? Like 90% of that was expenditure. 90% of it. I was working doing this pretty crazy work. It's called preservation, mortgage field service work. So I was taking care of all these foreclosed homes, working for a myriad of different banks. And I had to put in a huge investment up front and then get paid up to sometimes six weeks later. So I had all these credit cards. And if you wait six weeks until you get paid, you get charged an APR. Generally, you get charged an APR even if you just use a credit card and you pay it off immediately. So my finances, although I was like, like on the books looking like I was making a lot of income, I was spending so much and the amount of energy I was putting out to be like end up making between 20 and $30,000 $30, a year was just crazy. It was insane. I was working 60 to 80 hour weeks and I was always kind of coming up short. Like I never quite had the money that I wanted to have. And really what that translates to now for me is not having the freedom that I wanted to have. Because for me, I'm not looking to own a lot of stuff. I am looking to create more time for myself. So the amount of money that I make now may be on paper a lot less, but it's more potent because my expenditures are way down, like a thousand percent decreased. That was an incredible element to understand how I could affect my life economically 
to get rid of this job that was sucking time and energy out of my life and to reinvest it in myself. Initially putting in a lot of money to get trained in internal family systems therapy, which is now my primary source of income. I, I'm a therapist and I work with this modality called IFS. That was an awesome investment and it did take some initial investment that you know one could take out a loan for, but it felt like such an improvement over what I was doing, which felt like I was just like get like bleeding myself, like bleeding myself dry. This thing felt like I could put it in and I could get it back. I could enrich my life and I could feel like I was contributing to the world in a really different way than cleaning up people's trash on foreclosed properties could ever really have me feeling. The third and final area that minimalism has deeply affected in my life are my relationships. This is one that we may not always think about in terms of minimalism. But if you apply the minimalist philosophy to relationships, it is going to enhance your life huge. Like, it's way bigger than the finance part or where you're living or downsizing your cars or downsizing your wardrobe. If we can focus on the relationships that truly support us, the people who truly love us, if we can search out the deepest, highest, and most incredible connections available to us, it is going to feed our souls in a way that will enhance our entire lives. And there are worthwhile reasons to stay in relationships that maybe are not as ideal as we want them to be. There are also really good reasons to step away from those. And I'm not talking about doing it in an uncompassionate way or a way that's going to cause trauma later on down the road for you. I'm talking about using intention and making a decision, not from a place of a victim, but from a place of a person empowered in their life to choose who they keep close to them. If someone isn't supporting you and loving you and being compassionate with, the way, with you in the way that you want, you can ask them to change and you can tell them what you're looking for. And if they don't, you can step away from them. And you can free up that time, that energy, and that love for people who are going to give you the love, support, and compassion that you deserve as a human being. And we all deserve it. We all deserve it. And it's okay if we're not always matching up with these people. It doesn't mean we have to abandon them forever and feel guilty and, and shameful about it. But maybe for a time, it's okay to step back and free up some of that energy for something that's going to bring you more love in your life. Overall, what minimalism has done to me is allow me to be a happier person, more intentional, more present, mindful, and to do the things that I really want to do, which is to be an awesome contributor to society, to love myself, to really feel valued by the people who are in my life, just overall to feel good. I mean, I think that's what we all want. Minimalism is an awesome tool. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If you like this video and you want to support it, you can share it around on Facebook. If you want to change your life, you can. And I think you can do it in a ton of different ways. And one way that you can do it is by checking out this program that I created. I think it's a really worthwhile program that I've developed over the last four and a half years of stuff that I've used in my own life and stuff that I've used with clients, stuff that I think really works. It's based in the IFS principles, but it goes much further than, than just IFS protocols, but it teaches you how to essentially take care of yourself and how to develop self-love. And I think that self-love is, is the most important thing for our journey. So if you want to check that out, that's on my website at thrivingminimalist.com. You can use this discount code to get a discount. I'd also really encourage you to check out my newer channel with Brittany Taylor where we talk about inspiring, authentic relationships. You can check all that stuff out in the description box. I wish you only fun and love and passion on your journey. Whatever you are doing, I believe and trust that it is awesome and right for you. Much love. Take care of yourself. Bye. Thank you.